Hello everybody. Welcome you all in this online edu classes for class 8th history. Today I am going to begin with the first part of the video for chapter 5 when people rebel 1857 and after. Here I am Minakshi Pandey and I am going to present this video before you all. Let us understand some of the learning outcomes. When you will see this video, you would be able to recall the various policies made by East India Company. You would also be able to realize the impact of those policies and the reactions of the local people. You will be also able to visualize the conditions of the Rajas, Zamindars, peasants, and the artisans. Along with that, you will be able to draw out the reasons responsible for the rebellion amongst the sepoy. Let us begin with the lesson. When East India Company established power in India, it affected the life of kings, queens, landlords, peasants and the sepoys as well. Many of them revolted against English East India Company, but as the revolts were localized, it was crushed by the British easily. Let us learn few of the reasons responsible for the outbreak of the revolt of 1857. First of all, let us know about the political reasons. As we know that English East India Company was implementing various policies and eroded the power of the various ruling families, for example, Nana Sahib, the adopted son of Peshwa Baji Rav II. His pension was been denied after his father's death. In the similar manner, Rani Lakshmi Bai, she requested the company to accept his adopted son as the heir of the kingdom. But after his husband's death, the English East India Company was there to annex her kingdom as well. In the similar manner, Nawab Wajid Ali Shah state was annexed by the company as various policies were introduced. For example, the policies like the subsidiary alliance, claim to paramount C and doctrine of lapse were being introduced by them. Now, let us know about the annexation of Awadh. Let us get this clear picture. Awadh was annexed in the year 1856 by Lord Dalhousie as he declared that the territory was being misgoverned and the British rule was needed to ensure proper administration over there. This action of the East India Company brought a major discontent amongst the people of Awadh. Now, let us understand about the company's plan. Here, there was a plan to bring down the Mughal dynasty to an end. Lord Canning, he declared that the East India Company would be taking up the Mughal Emperor's rule. The name of the Mughal emperor was removed from the coin that was been minted by the company. Governor General Canning decided that Bahadur Shah Zafar would be the last Mughal king and after his death, none of his descendants would be recognized as the king. Not only that, they would just be called as the prince and will have to vacate the red fort as well. Further, let us know some more important reasons like the economic reasons which were responsible for the revolt of 1857. Under this head, we would be studying about the condition of the Indian peasants. In the countryside, the peasants and zamindars resented the high taxes and the rigid methods of revenue collection. Many failed to pay back their loans to the money lenders and gradually lost the land they had tilled for generations. The Indian sepoys in the employ of the company also had reasons for discontent. They were unhappy because of their pay, allowances and conditions of services. Some of the new rules, moreover, violated their religious sensibilities and belief. Not only that, in the year 1824, the Indian sepoys were ordered to go to Burma to fight for East India Company through the ocean. But these soldiers denied to go through the oceans as it was believed that they will be losing their caste and religion if they cross the ocean. 
let us get a decent idea about the responses towards the social reform we know that the british believed that the indian society had to be reformed there were various social evils that were existing in our country like sati pratha and widow no widow remarriage but the laws were passed to stop the practice of sati and to encourage the remarriage of widows apart from this english language education was actively promoted after 1830 the company allowed christian missionaries to function freely in its domain and even own land and property in 1850 a new law was passed to make conversion to christianity easier this law allowed the indians who had converted to christianity to inherit the property of his ancestors now let us understand about the immediate cause of the revolt of 1857 the mutiny which becomes the popular rebellion a rifle named enfield was introduced at that time and the sepoys were supposed to use it a rumor spread that time and the sepoys who were using that they get to know that the cartridges of that rifle was being greased using the fat of animal the sepoys need to tear the wrapper using their teeth thus they denied using it as their religious belief was being hurt the sepoys mutinied in several places beginning from meerut and a large number of people from different sections of society rose up in rebellion anger against high taxes disruption of crafts and trade dissatisfaction of nobles and rumors in sepoys finally led to the mutiny of 1857 with this here i'm going to end up with this video for any query you can get connected through the microsoft teams app to me thank you stay blessed and keep safe